Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of a new segment on my channel called Tech Logs. Now in a nutshell, these are basically just going to be short, mostly unscripted videos where I basically do just a, a random normal thing involving technology. So a lot like my older videos, only they're less scripted, a lot less editing, and school is just, I mean, I mean I'm overblown with work at the moment, and it's a lot harder to make fancier scripted videos like what I what, like what I normally make. I think one of the biggest problems I'm having is finding enough time to actually make good videos. So basically this is just going to be a substitute for that. I'm gonna start making these little tech vlogs. They're gonna be pretty fun. And yeah, we're just gonna have a good old time. In today's tech log, we're gonna be taking a look at this thing. This is my main laptop. This is a Dell Precision 7730. I use this thing every day. Uh, I use it for gaming, I use it for some video editing. Uh, it works really well. It's very large, it's a 17 inch laptop. And as I said before, yeah, I bought this mainly because I like larger laptops. It's a very old fashioned laptop. It's very easy to take apart. It's got a lot of old new features, like it's got the uh, track point, those extra buttons, numeric keypad and all the ports you could possibly want and just a lot of generally a lot of things you don't see on modern laptops anymore which is why i pur purchased this even though it does have some nice modern features like face id updated processors so it would be better than buying like an old thinkpad with like last gen processors that aren't up to speed which is why i bought this thing recently i've been getting into some more gaming and I, one, of my, one of the recent titles I just purchased was Forza Horizon 4. And I've been having some issues where up to like the two hour mark, um, the fans get really loud, which is mostly normal. But especially the game likes to have frequent lag spikes, even on offline mode. Um, the game likes to have lag spikes every 10 seconds, which make the game pretty much unplayable. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be repasting the CPU and GPU. I don't know if this is the problem. I know other people are having similar issues, but even if it isn't, I mean, it's better to repaste it with some better thermal paste in the factory because normally that stuff isn't that good. And we're gonna be using this um, MX4 thermal com compound from Arctic, which is supposed to be good. I've already used this on a couple things. So hopefully this magical fluid will help us with this. So without further ado, let's begin taking it apart. Thank you. 
All right, so I'm finally done cleaning off the CPU and GPU, and you can tell by the whole layout that the GPU is a lot, quite a bit larger than the CPU. This workstation is very, um, is very focused towards graphical use and and more serious things like that. Now, uh, yeah, so I've just finished cleaning everything off. I've just been taking a look in the thermal paste. It's all gone now, but it's re it was really bad. It's not very good. I mean, there's still some more on the massive heat shrink that weighs more than a brand new MacBook Pro. Very large, these giant copper coils and fans and radiators. It's absolute, it's an absolute sight. But uh, yeah, so this needs some more cleaning, but you can just see how hard it is. And this is only like, I've only had this for a year, but I believe it came out in like 2018, this computer. Let's finish cleaning this up, and then we're gonna get to actually applying the thermal paste. All right, so now we're gonna get to the thermal paste application. The best way to apply thermal paste to a GPU or a CPU is by putting a pea-sized blob right in the center. And then when you put the uh, heat sink back on, it'll spread it out evenly and it'll look perfect. I'm gonna put it in the middle. Just uh, about that much be good. Just a bit. Like that. Perfect. All right, so now that we have the uh, thermal paste applied, it's time to actually put the heat shrink back on with the fans. And it is one piece, comes like this. And th the design of this one, it, this actually goes under a cable, which is why I spent so long trying to remove the screen ribbon cable. It actually goes under like this, and there's no other way to uh, take it out. Yeah, now back to the reassembly. just shooting out chemical frost. Ugh. All right, so the computer is back together. Let's see if it works. And it does. All right guys, so it's been a couple days of the repaste, um, nearly a week now. I, I'm, I've reached around the two hour mark, which is normally when the lag spikes would begin, begin occurring, but frame rates haven't dropped below 60, which is normal. Fan speeds are, are kind of high, which is also normal. I've seen that before on the system, especially with longer um, game times. But uh, yeah, game seems to play really well, actually. No lag spikes, I can do everything I need to do. And uh, yeah, I would say the repaste was a success. All right, so I think that's gonna end today's video. Uh, I think we were pretty successful with the, uh, um, the goal that we had, which was to repaste the computer 
and now everything works pretty well on it. Fan speeds aren't as high as they used to be. Um, neither is the air coming out. It seems a bit cool. It seems to be running a bit cooler now. CPU performance has still been pretty good, and games have been running better than they've ever been, which I think is pretty nice. I guess that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like and comment down below what you'd want to see next. I've got a few more videos coming up in the works. Uh, again, video uploads aren't going to be as frequent, but uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching.